taking a quick breather here. I am 13 miles in to my 16 mile zone two run today. And it's actually slightly drizzling right now. What an awesome surprise. This run started off blazing. Sun was beating down. I was sweating before I even hit mile one. Slowly the clouds started to creep in from the east and it's just a perfect day. So much nicer running when it's cool like this versus last weekend when it was upper 90s. It's probably low 80s right now. It's awesome. Check it out. Got some thunderstorms hopefully coming in here soon. Woo! This is why I love to run. And I got the trail in front of me. Less than three miles to go. Let's get this long run in. It's a Friday, mixing my workouts up this weekend. So running Friday, long bike ride tomorrow, Saturday, long open water swim on Sunday. Then Monday, Labor Day, full rest day. Woo, yeah, all right. I feel pretty good, three miles left. Can't ask for better weather. All right, let's get this. yards today Ooh, hour and 23 minutes longest swim so far let's get it
3,000 yards down, 1,000 yards to go. I'm exactly one hour and four seconds into this. It's supposed to go an hour and 23 minutes today, I believe, total. So I should get to 4,000 in 23 minutes. Yeah. Then done for the week. Longest week so far of training. About to wrap up here in 23 minutes. And look at this, got the whole pool to myself. And it's such a nice day. Sun is finally coming out. Uh, and it's drying up. So, yeah, let's go get this. Let's wrap up a tough but confidence building week, actually, which is good. Had some good workouts this week where I feel pretty satisfied with my effort and how I felt after the swim bike and run versus last week's I felt terrible after the bike and the run so this week's uh, definitely a good week let's carry that in the next week all right thousand yards to go let's get it all right welcome back to surf run channel six weeks six weeks to Ironman California and Sacramento in October. Week, I'm in the middle of week 12 right now. Can't believe it, six weeks, counting down. We're getting close, getting into crunch time. It's time to start getting into the details and looking at the course and reviewing the schedule and identifying my gear, getting the gear ready. Whew, this is it, it's getting real. I'll do a quick recap of week 11 which is way better than week 10. Week 10 was quite miserable and quite the confidence killer. Week 11 was the opposite of that. Even though it was a longer swim, bike and run, I still felt significantly better. It was a confidence booster. And a couple reasons for that, I think. First of all, the weather was significantly better over the long uh, swim, bike and run weekend versus the previous weekend by a good 15 degrees cooler which does have a pretty big impact on just your, your level of exertion and, and that, that threshold of depletion. So I felt pretty bad after week 10's four and a half hour bike ride, I think is what it was, 75 mile bike ride. This week's bike ride was 85 miles, my longest bike ride I've done ever in my life. And of course the longest so far of this training block and it was five hours and I felt way better getting off the bike this time. Weather was definitely uh, a factor in that. It was uh, cooler and it even rained a little bit, uh, light rain in the morning anyways. So that was much better than the previous ride was 95 degrees. Same thing for the long run. This week I did a 16 mile run versus a 15 mile run and it poured during the run, which is great. And the pool, the pool is the pool to swim, did 4,000 yards. Also the longest swim I've ever done in my entire life. 4,000 yards in this pool right here behind me. I'm about to actually do 2,600 yards. Uh, easy, I think. Or actually, you know what? Today may actually be a fitness test. I need to review my workout before I start. Yeah, this is this is a down week. Week 12 is a down week, which is great. I'm looking, I need it. I'm, I'm pretty beat up, honestly, after week 11. I don't have any like pains or injuries or anything. I'm just, you know, a little tired. Um, but overall feeling much better after this last week. So I was dreading going into this last weekend's workouts just because of the previous weekend's results and was questioning this whole crazy idea or dream of finishing an Ironman. I was to that level. But this week was much better. And so weather was a big factor. The other big factor was nutrition. I dialed my nutrition in. I got some solid foods in, in me this time, especially on the bike. I had some bananas, some mini muffins. I had a, a PB&J sandwich that I took with me. Um, had a Coke. I took gels, spring gels this time, which are my favorite. I took one every hour on the hour so i didn't miss a beat on that one and i also kept my belly full of water which for running doesn't always work out for me anyways all that sloshing around but on the bike was you know didn't really feel that so i guess point is i stayed quite hydrated so nutrition was 
probably was the key factor, even more so than the weather. You know, I, I got to learn that, you know, the biggest mistake that I've been told that a lot of athletes make is that you underestimate, underestimate your caloric requirements. And I don't want to do that. And I feel I nailed the caloric uh, requirement for the bike ride on Saturday. Same thing on the long run, the 16 mile run. I also took my gels uh, regularly and made sure I got water when I needed it. And the long swim of 4,025 yards, same thing. I had a banana with me, so uh, that also worked out pretty well. So yeah, so a great week. Uh, another key factor to a successful and maybe even a fun week, if I want to call it that. Yeah, of course it was a fun week. It was a fun week, challenging but fun, were the different kind of interactions and conversations and chats that I had with other athletes that um, have done Ironman before that are experienced and can share with me their wisdom and uh, their experiences, their tips and tricks. And one thing that pops up has popped up in each one of those conversations is nutrition on the bike and how important that is. Also equally important, making sure you get plenty fueled up before the race even starts, hours before the race even starts. That's where I get the never underestimate your caloric intake is that's why I've been uh, specifically told to be sure to be constantly fueling. The bike is a buffet on wheels. And yes, you might feel nauseous and if that is the case, you may not want to eat or drink, but you have to. That's the only way you're going to get through that nauseousness and maybe those dark moments. Because there will be dark moments. Another good friend of mine, a multiple Ironman athlete, mentioned there are going to be dark moments. And that's good to hear because I've had some dark moments in these first 12 weeks. I've had some bright moments too. The dark moments, though, kind of freak me out a little bit. You know, my anxiety, my stress kind of kicks in and I question the whole idea of it. But I've been told that that's normal. And it's just, you know, I kind of knew it's probably normal. I'm sure I'm not the only one going through the jitters. I'm sure if you're training for a race right now, you're probably feeling, feeling the same thing. I certainly have. Even in all my other races, I absolutely have. But it's good to hear, I guess, other people describe their experiences with those dark moments and those points in a race in which you feel like you can't go any further and inevitably breaking through that wall and going further and finishing so yeah that was a nice wonderful surprise to run into a few athletes both in person in my running group uh, as well as online through instagram i guess some of the comments i got on one of my posts on instagram so yeah it's um you know getting together with other athletes and just talking through the logistics and the experiences and what works and what doesn't work. And, you know, it's okay. Yeah, you're new to this, but you know, you're, you're gonna make it, you're gonna finish. So nevertheless, yeah, that's the quick recap for week 11. Week 12 is a down week. It's a back down week. I'm only doing six and a half hours this week versus week 11, which is 13 and a half hours. Oh, I also went back to bear down. I got two sessions of uh, strength and conditioning in, which again is also a lot of camaraderie there, you know, working out with some people that I've been, I've known for years and been working out for years. So getting back into the gym and doing some performance and sus uh, sustained workouts, like hit type sessions is a, is huge for me. And I know it makes me a stronger athlete and I have a ton of fun working out with that crew at Bear Down. So that's good, and I'll continue that again this week. It's time to go swim. So if you like these videos, make sure you like them. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please comment if you have any questions or any tips or tricks for me. If you're training for a race, I hope it's going awesome. If you're racing Sacramento, maybe I'll see you there. All right, Surfrun Channel, out. Thank you.